Hey, this is Kyle Nathan Aleem, the real estate boy. And today we're going to talk about Philadelphia attacking Airbnb. Well, that's one way to look at it. Either attacking Airbnb or holding Airbnb owners more accountable. Yesterday, they just passed a regulation that's due to take effect April 1st of 2022. What I'm going to do is go real fast through this article from WHYY, and then we're going to jump into a small presentation on what you need to know if you own an Airbnb or if you're an Airbnb operator. Okay, so the article is entitled Philly Council Passes Tougher Airbnb Regulations. First point is that Philadelphia City Council passed new legislation aimed at toughening regulations and improving transparency around short-term rentals like Airbnb. Point number two is um, complex ownership schemes sometimes made it difficult for neighbors and police to find or hold operators accountable, something the recently passed legislation aims to change. Number three is while Philadelphia legalized and imposed tax collections on short-term rentals back in 2015, the prior law only required individuals that rented units for more than 20 days a year to obtain a permit. The new legislation instead creates a specialized limited lodging operator's li license that both owner operators and offsite managers would have to obtain for the cost of $150. All right. Number four is another component aims to drive out third party short term rentals listed independently on free or unregulated services like Craigslist. All short term rental operators would be required to use registered booking agent services like Airbnb itself, who would in turn have to be licensed by the city. All right. Of course, the spokesman for Greater Philadelphia Hotel Association praised the bill and said this is a win for traditional hotels. Airbnb did lobby against this bill, but looks like they were turned down. Okay, so here we have a nice handout that shows the Philadelphia Limited Lodging Law that again goes into effect April 1st, 2022. So this is broke up into two parts. Number one, if you are an Airbnb owner, that's part number one. Part number two is for host or booking agents, meaning that your business is hosting Airbnb. So you don't actually own it, but you're hosting it or you're managing it for somebody else. Things. Here are the things that you must have. Number one is limited lodging operation license, which is $150. Must advertise and post license number on any and all marketing and at physical locations. So this is so if something happens, whether it's the neighbors or the police, they know exactly who to go to because that license number is going to be tied to you as the owner. Also, second, what you need is a rental license or a hotel rental license. Number three is a commercial activity license. Number four is a lead paint cert. Now, if you're a property owner or a landowner, you definitely know about this lead paint, this lead paint certification in Philadelphia. Also, number five is you can't have no outstanding Title IV violations, all right? And last but not least, LLCs must identify named person and physical mailing address. Now, what was happening is that when the police were called out because of a disturbance at an Airbnb, when they tried to find who's responsible, namely the owner, they would go to these LLCs. Well, sometimes people hold LLCs or own LLCs with other LLCs. And it may be hard to try to pinpoint who the actual person is and where the mailing address if there's a ticket. If you um, have an LLC and there's no address on there, where would they send the actual ticket? So that's some problems that they needed to address. All right. So now we're going to go to if your business is managing, hosting, or booking LLCs. All right. Number one, if you are a Airbnb host, for others, what you're going to need is number one, 
a booking agent license is going to be required. That's going to be $7,000. That's going to be seven stacks, okay? Your renewal for that is going to be $5,000. You're also going to need a limited lodging operation license, okay? That's going to be required. And last but not least, you're going to need a hotel rental license, okay? So this sums up everything that you're going to need if you're going to do Airbnb business in Philadelphia, okay? Well, listen, this is Khaled Nathan Aleem. If you're looking to buy a home, sell a home, or invest in real estate, I got you. That's across the United States, but specifically, we're licensed in Pennsylvania, Delaware, and New Jersey. All right, y'all. Until next time, make sure you subscribe and make sure you like this. All right, y'all. Take care.